Now, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Majid Fetuga. This is my YouTube channel. Kindly uh, be a part of my community. Uh, today, without wasting much of your time, we want to look at uh, how to create forms in Google Form. Uh, of course, we want to understand that forms are to generate entries. You want people to sign up. You want people to fill some form. And uh, you also use your forms to, get, to build your leads. Leads are your prospects, those who actually give you their details, their name, their phone number, their email address. Uh, or you want to get uh, contacts, you want to use inquiry, you want to do a lot of things. You can actually set up uh, a questionnaire with your Google form. Uh, you can do a lot of things and I'm going to walk you through uh, all the features uh, to the best of our ability. So. The effort is to gather your information, your data, and make easy follow-up. Uh, there are different uh, tools out there. There are different forms out there. But in this guide, we want to make use of Google Form. Uh, it is available. It is free. It has an uh, easy uh, environment and very mobile-friendly. Uh, uh, if you look at uh, setting it up, integrating it on your website, and... Uh, allowing your prospects to visit your website, fill the form, and you can immediately get the uh, entries on your email notification. So let's get started. The first thing is just to have a Gmail account. And on your google.com, you can see you have Google Apps, you know, and uh, you click on these Google Apps to search for different apps. There are different apps within Google accounts. You have Google My Business. I've done some videos on that. And I will love to do more videos on these features. Kindly put in the comment section if you're interested uh, and let me know. So you want to look at your forms. That is where we are actually going. You click on your forms. So one, again, the process is very straightforward. You want to go to your google.com, uh, signing in with your Gmail account and clicking on Google Apps and you search for forms. And uh, you can also go directly to docs.google.com slash forms. It's still going to bring you to this end and you can create a lot of forms, uh, different uh, features and what have you. And you can integrate these forms on your websites. Uh, you can drive traffic to your landing page an example is this uh, landing page with Zaytun Travels, Omura Opens, where you can, if you click on free consultation uh, sign up, it's going to take you to Google Form and you are going to see an uh, easy entry, easy uh, detail. And once you fill this, the recipient receives the content and makes uh, easy follow up. The automations are set up and a lot of things can easily be done. So let's get started. Here you have a new form uh, where you can actually create from bl blank templates. You are just need to set everything uh, the way you want it. Here we have template gallery. Uh, we have the contact information. If you want to gather information about your prospects, their contact details. If you want to do assessment of probably event or customer feedback, customer review, a lot of things you can actually set up. And if you want to do uh you know special location you want people to sign up uh, you invite for party whatsoever there are a lot of tools or if you click on the gallery you will see a lot added information that you can actually do so let us just click and these are templates it means that you can pick any and you walk around it but let us get this started by just picking a blank template just a blank form now what we want to make use of is to understand the framework of Google Form, uh, the first thing is the title at the top right, uh, top left here. You just want to say training guide. Just give your form a title and it is important. Uh, one interesting aspect of Google Form is it is online and it automatically saves and it will save inside your drive and that is where the folder you can always change the folder if you want to change the saved location but if you have google everything goes to your drive and you will always see the result of 
your forms are the feedback of your form which is this responses with in your google drive so let's get started so we've given it a title which is training guide and the title is here uh we can also give it a form description uh this is a training on my youtube channel okay now that is a description you can always put anything and anything you really want to do now let us look at these three or four buttons here now this is to customize the theme this icon here is the theme customization so when you click on this you can select the header which is the top at the top here there is a, a way for you to select uh, a picture or an image you can select from the pre-designed templates okay you can pick any of these or you can upload uh, from your laptop from your system or you can just browse photos on your drive so you can pick any of the photos so in my own case I want to pick something this I want to pick this and I just click on insert and if you notice it will be at the top of the uh, theme, which is the header, and you want this to be uh, blend with your your website's you know branding. So you want to pick a color for your theme, your theme color also based on your header color, your background, whatsoever your font style. You want your front type to be. Uh, basic or you want it to be decorative and you can see or you want it to be like playful you know or you want it to be though there are little uh, features available but then you can do a lot with this so that is the customization the next is the preview once you are true you can actually click on the preview button and you are going to see a preview of uh, what the solution will look at the end result will look like and that is the preview and let me close this the next one is the settings you can actually come to the settings and you say compulsorily it should collect email and uh, you probably want uh, one time sign up they should sign in meaning that it will require the respondent to sign in into google and you want to say respondent can edit after submit if you give the future once they submit they will be able to edit and you can also say you want to enable respondents to see the summary charts and text responses all these can really go a long way and uh, you want to probably put your presentation in slide okay where it's going to show progress bar or shovel question or that, that is if you are using question uh, getting assessment you are trying to uh, reshuffle your question like setting up questions for your uh, your respondent and once this message has been submitted you want your respondents to receive a message okay your response have been recorded or what have you or you want to redirect them to something else you can put the information here and if you want to set up a quiz you can say make this a quiz and you are going to you know set up the options okay and you can do you can set up points for each and once you are through with all those features you click on save in order for you to save the features and once you are through the next one is the send button now when you click the send button what happens is that your web your form is now designed in a way that it can be sent and you can also uh, click this link if you want to generate a link so that people can actually copy this link and start filling this form and you can actually shorten the link by clicking this shorten URL and the link is shortened and you can click copy uh, this enables you to give this link to people and people can just click the link and paste the link on their browser on their phone and they will be able to get the form and fill the forms and you
can easily do a lot of things. So this is the link, the URL that you are going to, you know, insert even on the website or on any of these. Uh, fun. You can even share on social media channels, on Facebook, on Twitter, and you can convert it to an embedded HTML where you can actually copy this and insert within a website and that will show uh, that is if on your contact page on your contact form you want to embed this form it's going to actually show and the content would be available so that is on that level so i won't explain this top funnel uh this is just if you want to uh, additional option you can make copy you can delete move to bin uh you can add collaborators collaborators are those who can have access to these same questions and edits and get the data uh, you can do a lot of things at this end so let's get started now we've gone through this top we have edited the header we have given a title we have explained the title uh let's just look at adding some of these features we want to add questions we want to add features and that is important so the first thing is let me remove this uh let me delete this good so the first thing is we can click on add this add question we can click on this to add a question you can see and you can enter your question so what is google form okay and that is a question and you can say this question is a short answer you want somebody to just explain something this short answer you want somebody to put a long detail that is long text paragraph you want multiple choice where you can say uh, a form and uh, let us say a quiz And let us say B, no idea. So now these are multiple choices. And for this, you can also put an image. So a form, you can put an image of a form. Uh, and that image can be uploaded, you know, can even be gotten from Google search. You just search for form. And uh, this is something, you can just pick something like this and insert and the image comes here so this question has a form and an option image option a quiz you can also do that there are a lot there are a lot of things you can do uh which you just need to you know decide then you can also do a drop down menu okay a drop down menu when you click drop down these options would come in a drop down let me just say a uh, form Form a uh, quiz. Quiz. So let us look at a preview here. Let me just refresh this, and you are going to see what is Google Form. You can see the drop down is uh, no idea form quiz. So when you say drop down, it comes in this format. Okay, as we are uh, designing here, we can actually be seeing the uh, feedback here. Okay, in this form, let me just. Uh, probably remove this to multi post choice and under this form um okay great let me add an image of the form uh google search form so and let me pick this and insert great that is lovely so uh, that had be automatically been saved, like I always explain. So let us see the feedback. This will now be what is Google Form, and you can see no idea has this option, quiz has this option, form has this option. So it means that this question has three, you know, images, and I can use that to get the feedback for what I want my prospect to do. Let me, I can also add this quiz can be quiz go to search just type quiz and let's see something yes let's make use of this and i think it's wonderful and no idea let me add that 
go to search um, no idea and I think I think I will take this option a uh, great so we now have three images for this question this number of question let us see how it's going to look like and uh, it, beautiful good so you can see this is how it's going to look like the finished result will look like this why your prospect can easily pick any of these options and click submit and that is important so the next thing is adding a question question has a lot of options and of course you can also do file upload let me just add another question okay that is question number two and let me make this uh file upload so here there is a condition that let respondents upload files to drive okay then you click on continue and uh, you select the condition of the file okay we allow only specific file types so you want to allow specific file types you want to allow documents you want to allow pdf you want to allow uh what's called spreadsheets and that means that you are not allowing video, you are not allowing audio, you are not allowing images or drive or whatever you then you want to say kindly kindly upload your documents here. Then you can just put in a condition. Please make sure it is doc dot doc. Mm -hmm. That is one option or dot pdf so once you give the options like this and you have given uh the what's it called the condition you can say okay i only want maximum number of a file and i also only want the maximum size should be probably one megabyte and you can see that condition not more than one megabyte or probably let us say 10 megabytes so you can put in the condition not more not more than 10 megabytes so i haven't done that let's see the feedback how it's going to look like yes we've done this saved and let's come to this place and refresh reload yes i'm not choosing this option and the next thing you see kindly upload a document here Please make sure the document is .p doc or dot and not more than 10 megabytes. You can see this add file and people can actually add the file and it's going to go. That is very lovely. So let us continue. And of course, for this, you probably want to put uh, a text title at the top and that would probably put in a question. So let me drag and drop. So the text title can be do you have a valid certificate okay so if that is you can now put an option if yes kindly upload below okay good so now you can see that being said, you can see the feedback and you can now see do you have a valid certificate if you had up, can upload below. So you can see a lot of things you can do and immediately you are true with this. You can also add images. You can add image as a condition. You can just come to Google search and just say uh, training. Let me see if something can come up. Good. You can add this. Just insert. Mm -hmm. so you can see this is a title for this image you can see how many uh oh uh in this world question and that question is vocation and you can now put your options anything you want to put uh, a lot of things you can do 
And once you are through with this, let's you can also add image, you can add video, you can also add video. The video can be from your YouTube channel. Probably let me pick this video from my YouTube channel. And once again, if you are new to my YouTube channel, can you please click the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. So this is a video. I just click the link and there's I search, I can click this and I like can click select. So immediately you are going to see a video and I can put the title of the video and uh, put a condition, the questions, anything I want to do. Uh, and that is very, very important. The next thing I want to explain is that you can click on any of these tabs and you can duplicate them. So if you want to duplicate, you can duplicate. If you want to delete, you can delete. And of course, you can click on any of the tabs and you can click on these options if it is required. Required means it is compulsory. They must answer it without the answer is not going to go. You can also put uh, any condition you want to put within that. And uh, you can also add sections. So you can say section one, section two of two, section one of two. So you can add section. So you can, you know, complete this training let me just refresh this so you can complete the training in a way that the person following answering this guide would go through two or three sections you know so now the U gmail account is required this is a condition you can see this next button the next will take you okay this is required yes the next will take you to the next section yes you can see before you now click back or submit so you can click sections and you can do a lot of things with this future i want to explain this let me just walk you through and at the end of the day you can li literally just delete it you can move to bin if you feel uh you don't want it to actually be available you can actually move to bin and that is important and once you are through you can move back to your uh form your google form and you'll see all your forms that you have created uh i think let me check some i've used some to to attempt exam okay i think i did this and this is just a feedback customer feedback and People can actually, you know, go through these options, go through them and uh, really just give us their feedback. And it is not compulsory that uh, it should be this long. Uh, this was actually designed for a, 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 a future. Okay, but and it's going to be, you know, very mobile friendly. If you are, you know, this is Google solution. So it's already mobile friendly. So you can just make use of it uh, from your phone and it's going to be very, very straightforward. You just click and do a lot of things you want to do uh, with this Google form. And I think it is important that you can make use of this. You can integrate it to your website. You can integrate it to uh, any of your features, uh, your CRM and what have you. So I think I have been able to cover the Futures that I really want us to go through. So, how to create forms in Google Form? So, this is a detailed explanation. I'm gonna, let me delete this, remove, move to Bing, and I really do not want that. So, um, so you can use this to do a lot of things. You can use it to set exam questions. You can use it to do a very lot. And if you have found some values from this explanation, this training, uh, kindly, you know, give this video a thumb up. Very, really, I will appreciate it. I say thank you and God bless.